Hello, I'm Vincent, the RD Manager at Create. Today, I would like to talk about the relationship between engineering tourists and design. I'm not going to speak too much of the technical details. However, I will talk about some practical common sense that will help you design a product. Before we start, what is engineering tourists? Tourists means how much variations you can accept when you manufacture each part of the product. There are different types of torrents, such as foam torrents, location torrents, and dimensional torrents. They are required for different purposes. So, where does torrents come from? I would say, even with the best production tools, it is inevitable to have some variance in almost all kind of production method because there are no 100% accurate tools. Take plastic injection for example. The CNC tools to make injection molds already have torrents. And the tools to make the CNC tools also have torrents. That is why the molds cannot be perfect. However, for different products, the acceptable tolerance can be different. For example, when defining a small plastic parts, tolerance 0.05 mm is considered acceptable. But for semiconductors, a nanoscale tolerance is required in the manufacturing process. As you may be surprised, tolerance in construction work can even be calculated by meters. Also, tolerance will be accumulated. Let's say each part has its own torus. So when several parts are assembled, the torus will be accumulated. In order to prevent the accumulations of torus to become an unsolvable situation, engineers need to calculate all torus, including production torus and assembled torus. This process is called torus analysis, especially for high volume production. The calculation is highly complex to ensure a consistent quality and higher yield rate. So why do designers also need to understand the tolerance? For engineers, it is in their nature to think of the materials, production methods, assembly, and tolerance when seeing a new design. But it's not the same for designers. If you are a designer, Please don't be frustrated or shocked to the engineers if they say no to you after seeing your design. Always discuss with your engineering team instead of just the manufacturers before you finish the design phase. Manufacturers will only tell you the tolerance they can meet, but they cannot see the full pictures of a product and offer you suitable solutions to adjust your design. Here are a few suggestions to optimize tolerance in design phase. Set up a proper gap between the parts, like the chain rail gap. It gives a space and allow the metal to be expanded and avoid interference. Try not to put the parting line on the sharp edges. The sharp edges will scale up the imperfection. Get know how in different materials and their manufacturing process. Observations and hands-on experience will bring you more success. Check international tourist standards, such as ISO, NSI, or JIS. Those standards have already listed the most important information you need. An experienced engineer will tell you where you should keep the gaps and how much gap space is needed for your design, as well as how to improve the design to reduce or avoid tolerance risk in production. Otherwise, you may end up in situations where your product cannot be fully assembled or the yield rate is super low, which makes the production too costly. We hope this video is helpful for your product development process. Thank you.